Uh, yeah, so let's talk Aladdin real quick while we're on the subject. Um, Aladdin, man, the 2019 remake directed by Guy Ritchie. I didn't care for it. I was disappointed, honestly. You know, uh, some animated movies just shouldn't be remade, in my opinion. You know, this film, I feel like it just didn't capture the spirit and the essence of the original. And um, maybe I'm, a, I'm probably a little bit biased towards the 92 original because I grew up watching it 24-7. But even so... Jungle Book was able to capture the feel of the original, as well as uh, Beauty and the Beast and, and even Cinderella. But I don't know, man. This one was just lacking. It was lacking something. It just it didn't work for me. Um, yeah, I, look, I tried to look past comparing it to the 92 film and take it for what it is now. But even then, it just it feels like a high school musical ripoff that doesn't know if it wants to be a cinematic movie or a stage play. Um, it, it just seems confused, but I look, I don't think it's the worst film. There's plenty others out there that claim that spot. Uh, I just, I thought the direction was weak in parts and I thought a lot of the characters were terribly miscast. Um, I didn't care for the casting of Aladdin, you know, no disrespect to Mina Massad. Uh, I'm sure he's a cool dude, but he just, he just didn't have that charm and wit of Aladdin. This dude had a special wit a certain bravado about him in the original um and i didn't feel like i didn't feel like he was a true leading guy this 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 actor i think they uh i don't know i think they dropped the ball there on aladdin and um jasmine was great i i love naomi scott as jasmine she was fantastic i think they went out of their way a little bit to push jasmine to the front lines a little bit more than aladdin um but even even then i thought she was the best thing about the film I mean, the music was great. The score was very great. A lot of homages to the original. But, um, yeah, I think they just put way too much emphasis on Jasmine. But either way, Naomi was was terrific. And speaking of miscast characters, I, I hated everything about Jafar. I did not like Jafar. I pretty much rolled my eyes so hard every time he was on screen. I uh, Again, no disrespect to the actor. But when I look at that Jafar, I just don't see one ounce of intimidation nor did I ever feel he was truly menacing or evil. He's not. He's just some. He's just some guy, you know. Uh, I. I don't know. I just feel like he's some dude who was picked on in high school, and he's he's pretending to be tough. I just he was not evil. He was not menacing at all. Um, just felt like a cheap poser. And of course, nothing can compare to the original Jafar. But I probably would have gotten someone older with a little much more menacing demeanor. Um, Iago as well, the parrot. I didn't like the whole slow-talking parrot shit. I wanted full-on conversations with Jafar, like in the original. You know, Iago had a certain charisma to him, something that was severely lacking without Gilbert Gottfried. I don't fucking care what Gilbert Gottfried said about Japan. Who gives a shit? Cast the motherfucker in this movie so he can reprise this role. You know, I was like, Jesus Christ, man. But lastly... Let's talk Will Smith. Um, didn't like it one bit. All I saw was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Love Will Smith, and I, I'm a huge fan of the guy. And I tried as hard as I could to take him seriously as the genie, but it just it, it wasn't happening with me. I, I couldn't get past it. I don't know. I don't know what else they could have done, but nothing would have ever touched what Robin Williams did in 1992. I, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm biased, but whatever. You know, it, I don't know, man. I just I wasn't feeling the dude. It was it was just too it was too much. It was too Will Smithified, and it just didn't fit in my opinion. I didn't I didn't care for it. But overall, I didn't really care for the movie. Like I said, Jasmine was great, and the music was a real nice homage to the original. But that's about it for me. I really wouldn't recommend it. But hey, you know everyone's different. Um, some people out there like it. And hey, if you do like the movie, more power to you, man. I ain't gonna step on you for it. But yeah, I'm gonna give this movie a four out of a ten. Um, Take it for what it is, man. Lion King, on the other hand, that's going to be some hardcore shit. I'm looking forward to that. So we're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.